What is going on, guys? Today we are looking at Zidane, the 95. I want to say I, I call it dynasties. I don't know if you call it dynasties or however you pronounce it, but dynasties Zidane 95. Still a 5-5 five five as always. He's currently coming in at 8 million coins. That is absolutely ridiculous. In terms of the upgrade, unfortunately, it is just a plus one. We have got an upgrade onto the Playstyle Plus, though. We will just go past everything because he has now got Incisive Pass Plus, which is much better than the first touch in terms of actual, I don't know, just in-game mechanics for him. He has got a finesse shot, which unfortunately has been broken. Long ball pass, first touch, uh, flare, technical, and Traveller as well. And in terms of stats, we're still looking as good as ever. His base card is currently coming in at 2.9, so it is a massive price increase but obviously it is day one so you can imagine that he will be dropping in price slightly as we go through the week because plus one is not going to really it's not going to take the price that much over more than likely he's going to be very hard to pack nonetheless but he still shouldn't be like a full five to six mil above there's just no way in terms of kind of stats, pace-wise is decent, especially for a centre mid cam. Shooting, fantastic. Passing, dribbling, all absolutely fantastic. And he just adds that 5-5. Five, five. So let's just jump into him and see what this sedan can do. Going into the overall for Zidane then. 7.4 mil. He is dropping fast, which I can imagine you're bound to. What I do want to see is if we go into the promos, what a good comparison will be is looking at the Thunderstrucks and obviously then the Centurions. Because we've got Henri now at 3.3. Ronaldinho is still very high, but he was so difficult to pack. We've got 7.2 for Cruyff. What are their base versions? So we've got 7.2 and... 3.6 so that kind of makes sense there's like a three four mil kind of gap between them so realistically we're looking at Zidane's gap he's got 2.8 more than likely I could see that card go into like 5.5 five. if that's the the kind of right gap and it depends on obviously if he is packable or not is he literally as rare as you can imagine he's, he's the best icon you can get so far other than kind of Maldini in terms of positional based but he is absolutely phenomenal the 5-5 is just gorgeous pace wise brilliant 
Obviously, the shooting, passing, dribbling has always been a very specialty from him. The chem style you're looking for, more than yeah, more than likely, is going to be the shadow because you can just then get the full range of motion. You get the 92 pace. You get 83 on that defending. He is just crazy good. No matter if he's the 94, 95, Zidane is Zidane. He's always going to be brilliant. I loved his base version, even kind of end of team of the year. That version was still incredible because of that 5-5. Naturally, he's got stats just that fit everything. He's a center mid. He's a cam. Don't know whether you could play DM with him. I feel like that'd be such a waste. But in terms of a, an actual card, this is one of the better icons we can see. And naturally, you're bound to see that even with the base version sitting at 2.8. There's a reason why that card is already 2.8. Well, all, still 2.8. In fact, with all of the base icons, you can imagine he would have dropped down if he really wasn't that good. Overall wise though, he's a 10 out of 10. I think everybody kind of knew that. I'm interested to try out a few more of them. Obviously, Maldini is absolutely cracked in himself. But I do want to see what these other versions are. What the 90 Hadji is like. Obviously, Rivaldo's, I think, extinct. at 1.14, which is just crazy in itself. So, let me know down below what you think about him. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.